Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Fox Science. In this video, we will learn about translation process. As translation is little bit difficult, that's why I divided this discussion into 4 to 5 parts. In this video, we will learn some basic concepts regarding translation process, which will be needed in our further study regarding the translation. First, we will learn about the central dogma of life. Basically, central dogma of life is nothing but three process. First, DNA to DNA that is replication, DNA to RNA that is transcription and RNA to protein that is translation. As in my slide, you can see the shape DNA is ordering that M to the mRNA that make protein for table 2. Yes, like that. DNA ask mRNA to make some protein and that mRNA uh, with the help of the ribosome usually make the protein for the cell or our body. So on the basis of this central dogma, entire living organism is uh, living actually. So what is the three parts of central dogma of life? Trans uh, replication, transcription and translation. So here we will learn about the translation like from how uh, proteins are getting synthesized from the mRNA. So let's start our discussion. First we should know what is protein because we will learn about protein synthesis right. So we should know what is protein. Protein is nothing but a polypeptide chain. Polypeptide chain means Small small amino acids are getting attached with the peptide bond. That is why protein is called the polypeptide chain. And how these amino acids are coming and getting attached with the peptide bond, this we will learn in translation process. And this is called the translation process actually from RNA to protein synthesis. So, how many amino acids are existing in a living organism cell? There are 22 different kind types of amino acid are existing in our cell. So every kind of amino acids are coming and getting attached with the peptide bond and then a polypeptide chain is synthesized and that is called protein. So now we will learn something important uh, for the translation machinery. As in this slide, you can see that the translation machinery basically made up of four subunits or four things. The first is the mRNA itself, second is the ribosome and third is the tRNA and fourth is the amino acid. So based upon these four components, entire translation process or translation machinery is going on, okay? So for translation process, we should have some start codon and we should have some stop codon. So what are the start codons? AUG, GUG and UUG. In 90% cases, the cell use AUG as their start codon. In 9% case, the cell is using GUG as their start codon and EUUG is used in case of 1% of organisms. And the stop codons are WAG, UGA and UA. So the translation process will be starting from the start codons and it will stop in the stop codons. Basically these three stop codons cannot code any kind of amino acid among the 22. That is why they are called stop codons. But there is an exception. The selenocysteine, the 21st amino acid is the only amino acid which can be coded by the stop codon that is UGA. So remember this is the very special and exceptional case that selenocysteine is coded by UGA or UGA stop codon. Generally the transcription uh, sorry the translation process is going from 5 prime to 3 prime direction as you can see the mRNA here. Here you can see from the 5 prime end of, to the 3 prime end of the mRNA, the ribosome is going on. Okay. So, from this direction, the translation process will go on and the polypeptide chain will be synthesized from the ribosome and it will be synthesized from N terminus 
to C terminus means first the amine terminal will be synthesized then ultimately the carboxyl terminal will be synthesized of a polypeptide chain. So these are some basic concepts regarding the translation process. So now we will know that uh, the main difference between the eukaryotic mRNA and the prokaryotic mRNA. So here question may, may arise that why from mRNA the translation is going on, why not from other RNAs? Yes, because mRNA is the messenger RNA. It codes some messages, means it, it is coded uh, for some amino acid it can code some amino acid or some message that is why from mRNA or messenger RNA always translation is going on and there are rRNA it is specific for some ribosome tRNA's role is different but only the protein can be synthesized from the mRNA so basically we will learn in our next slide that how the eukaryotic mRNA and how the prokaryotic mRNA is getting different so let's see in case of prokaryotic mRNA they are mostly polycystronic but eukaryotic mRNA are mostly monocystronic what is polycystronic and what is monocystronic we will learn after some time so let's come to the next point in prokaryotic mRNA there is no five prime capping and eukaryotic mRNA there is five prime capping in prokaryotic, you can see that intercystronic regions are exist, but in case of eukaryotic mRNA, there is no intercystronic region. And the main part of the prokaryotic mRNA, that is, multiple ribosome can bind on a single mRNA in case of prokaryotic organism. And the ribosome binding site will be called as shine dalgarno sequence. Okay, the sequence is AGG, AGG, U. That is very specific sequence and that is recognized by the 16S rRNA part of the ribosome. Then the ribosome uh, gets attached with this part, the, the sign dalgarno sequence part of the prokaryotic mRNA. Then the translation process is getting started. Okay, but in case of eukaryotic mRNA, you can see only single ribosome binding site is pre present in a single mRNA. That means from a single mRNA, any single kind of protein will be synthesized. And the binding ribosome binding site is the Kojak sequence. Okay, and the sequence can be ACCAUGG or GCCAUGG. This is called Kojak sequence. Now we will discuss about the polycystronic prokaryotic mRNA and monocystronic eukaryotic mRNA. So here in this slide you can see this is the polycystronic mRNA. This kind of mRNAs are present in prokaryotic cell. As in prokaryotic cell is most of the cell, most of the organisms are single cellular. So they contain a single DNA or single RNA as their genetic material right so there is only one so from only one dna or only one rna they need to synthesize every kind of proteins or enzyme whatever every kind of things they need to synthesize from a single dna that is why their dna or rna sorry rnas are generally polycystronic so here you can see multiple coding sites are present and this is the start codon AUG. This is the uh, stop codon UA. So this is a coding region for a single protein. That is protein A suppose for example. And this is the protein B. This is the coding region of protein B. So here is no 5 prime capping as I have already mentioned. Because prokaryotic organisms are not that much evolved right so in that case in their cell there is not that uh, that much of precautions so there is no pre not presence of uh, five prime capping or three prime poly a tail so these kind of things are absent in polycystronic mRNA so now you can see in the monocystronic mRNA which are present in the eukaryotic cell as our human body we are human so we are eukaryotic organism uh, we have we are multicellular organism that's why 
देर इज नो नीड फर आवार एम आर एन ए टू कोड फर फर माल्टिपल प्रोटीस फ्रम अ सींगल आर एन ए रईट सो उइ हाव सेपारेट सेपारेट आर एन ए टू सिन्थेसाइज सेपारेट कैंड अफ प्रोटीस सो फर एक्साम्पल यू कैन सी प्रोटीन ए इज गेटिंग सिन्थेसाइज फ्रम अ सींगल एम आर एन ए एंड इन दैट केस द फाइव प्राइम एंड इज कैब्ड एंड द स्टार्टिंग कोडन इज ए वी जी स्टॉप कोडन इज यू ए ए एंड द थ्री प्राइम रिजियन इज अगेन यू कैन सी देर इज एनदार कैंड अफ मडिफिकेशन दैट इज पलि ए टेल सो हाई दिस कैंड अफ मडिफिकेशन आर टेकन प्लेस एंड हाउ वी उल नो इन आवर फार्दार डिसकाशन and here uh, in polycystronic mrna this space we called uh, intercystronic space okay so this is the coding sequence this is the coding sequence these are cystron and this space is called intercystronic region so this is basically two types of mrna which we can see in the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell so this is all for our this video in our next video we will discuss about the tRNA the structure of tRNA the function of tRNA so stay connected with us thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt from this basic concept please mention in our comment section please do subscribe our channel and if you like this video please hit the like button